Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. We have another Kings of War battle report today. Uh, this is a 2500 point uh, game. Scenario was Invade and it's Dwarves versus Twilight Kin. So, uh, these the people I play a lot are going to a tournament, so I'm trying to make a, a variety of lists for them to play. So this is my attempt at a, a very fighty dwarf list. Uh, minimal, minimal shooting. Um, but a lot of a lot of heavy hitters. So I have two troops of Iron Guard, two regiments of Iron Guard with the two handed weapon upgrade and throwing dogs, two hordes of elementals, one with the chain of hate, one with the blessing of the gods, uh, two berserker troops, one with blade of slashing and mace of crushing. Those are the cheapo five point items. Uh, a re regiment of rangers with the helm of confidence. Two Greater Earth Elementals, two Stone Priests. Both Stone Priests have the Bane Chant upgrade, and one of them has the Inspiring Talisman. Um, just to help out with a little bit more inspiring for everybody else. Uh, one Berserker Lord mounted with the Blade of Beast Slayer. One Ranger Captain. Uh, wings of the Honey Maze. And uh, the first time I've ever taken a uh, uh, Living Legend, I, I guess as they call him in this game, uh, I took Garrick Heavy Hand. Um... I had a couple points to kill, and I needed an inspirer to walk around with my dwarves, so it's kind of interesting. Um, if you look him up, he's just a really defensive foot slogger, so I, I think he's a better buy than the king on foot, so... Eh. Anyway, um, so my opponent uh, is playing Twilight Kin, as I said, uh, so he has two hordes of crossbowmen. Uh, one of them has the piercing item, and one of them has the jars of the four wind. Um, if anyone is unfamiliar with the Twilight Kin, their crossbows are actually just bows. So, uh, they're just treated as light crossbows. It's the same as the Dwarf Rangers. Two hordes of abyssal riders. Um, large, uh, monsters calf, uh, regen, pretty tough. Uh, three bolt throwers. Three hydras. Uh, a dark lord on the battle dragon with the defense six plus item or uh, the extra the item that gives you an extra defense i'm sorcelled armor or something uh two high priestesses one of them is mounted um and one of them is not i think the one that is not is the inspiring one um and uh, an army standard bearer mounted with a healing charm so i don't have my opponent's list but i, I think i got it right so we'll find out so uh we'll go into deployment uh the scenario is invade so from left to right, those bones, uh, Cthul Cthulhu-looking guys, those are his uh, abyssal abyssal riders, so his monster's calf. So uh, there's one of his hordes of abyssal riders, or what are they called? Abyssal riders, okay. And then uh, his dragon is in front of them. Uh, one of his priestesses on the horses next to them, and there's a bolt thrower, hydras, horde of crossbows. Um, after the horde of crossbows is another hydra, a bolt thrower, horde of crossbows. Abyssal Riders, uh, and back there, there's the oh that that the the white character, the white the white model there is in the middle as as an inspiring priestess. And there's another Hydra, the Healing Charm Standard Bearer, and then and another Bolt Thrower. Uh, from Dwarves, so we'll go from left to right. Um, uh, Iron Guard, two-handed weapons behind. Iron Guard shield in front. Uh, Garrick Heavy Hand is the Standard Bearer there. And then Iron Guard Shields, Iron Guard Two-Handed Weapons. Um, and and, and uh, this is after Vanguard, so my, my uh, Ranger Captain is way up. Way up there. Uh, so then we have Earth Elementals. The the elite, the elite ones are the lighter colored ones. Uh, behind them is one of the troops of Berserkers. Uh, and also behind them is <laughs> one of the uh, Greater Earth Elementals. So he's a lot of bolt throwers. So I don't want to give him... Uh, easy targets so I put my the only thing I can hide my earth elementals behind to give them cover is my or my greater earth elementals give them cover is my earth elementals because it's the only other thing I have that's more than height one so that's what they're doing uh, and the obviously the uh, berserkers are hiding behind too because they are extremely squishy so then I have uh, berserker lord he's in the middle here we'll go to this picture uh, he's in the middle the stone priests are both in the middle Another Berserker Horde with Berserkers behind, or not, Earth Elemental Horde with Berserkers behind, and Greater Earth Elemental behind, and then you can see the Stone Priest, and then way off on my left and his right is a my uh, self-inspiring Rangers. So here's an overview of what you can see. 
Uh, this is again after Vanguard, so my Ranger's way over there have moved up. Um, I put him over there. Is if they if I get first turn, they're in range to shoot at his bolt thrower, and my hope is just to just to waver it. I mean, killing it would be great. Um, and on the other side of what I'm doing is my Ranger Captain there is not chargeable by anything, and he can charge the bolt thrower there turn one. So that's that's my general idea. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to slug forward. Um, I have as good of screens and lines as set up as I can, so he's a, he's going to have a lot of trouble shooting through all my defense six stuff out front. And just to try to push through is my, my idea. And obviously, the uh, elementals are there to go through those woods because they have Pathfinder. So turn one. And fortunate for me, I get turn one. So with the with all that vanguarding, I always take turn one when I can get it. Um, these guys sit still because they don't need to. Uh, but you can see here, these everybody here moves up pretty much their full speed. Uh, the uh, Berserker Lord has moved up to... Um, get a few options. He can charge the bolt thrower, he can charge just about anything. Um, probably wasn't a great idea to send him forward because I didn't need to do this. Um, he is only defense four, so I mean he is an individual but he's still not very tough to be out in front of those archers. On my other side, my dwarves just move up. They're full, so everybody just essentially flew up as fast as they can. Uh, in the shooting phase, I do get lucky and I waver that left bolt thrower, which is great for me. Uh, and the middle bolt thrower, my ranger captain charges and <laughs> fluffs like like he loves to do, but he did a point of damage, so that's fine. Uh, and then you can see here, I did surge both of my elemental hordes up just to get some more uh, cover some more distance. So when we crash together, I'm more likely on his side. So uh, Twilight can turn one. You can see here, um, he reforms a little bit on the right, moves up. Um, those, those uh, bows way in the back are the Jar of the Four Winds one, so he doesn't have to move them up. Um, on the other side, he just kind of comes up a little bit. He's ignoring my Rangers, so he's just coming to face into the middle with all those other guys. Uh, we go into shooting, and yeah, like I was saying, I I probably shouldn't have put my, uh, my Berserker Lord out here like this. Uh, he didn't probably need to do that, but he's he took eight points of damage, so I mean, he's not going to die. He didn't, he's not going to die, but it's probably something I shouldn't have done. Uh, and here's the only other shooting he does, just to make a point for how how well I'm able to s take it. So one point of damage on the iron iron guard. Turn two, uh, turn two dwarves. We just keep moving up as fast as we can. Um, we'll keep our lines in place. So yep, on that side and up over here. So I I would generally prefer to have my greater earth elementals take the charges as opposed to my hordes of earth elementals, but um, again, just so that they can have they can have cover, they're they're behind. Um, you can see at, at at this point in time, my 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 berserker lord had eight points of damage, and I was I was I was debating what to do with him, um, whether or not to save him because he's an easy in at the end. If I go hide him, because he can just he can just essentially just run in and score. Um, but if I didn't hide him, he was going to die anyway. So I I probably didn't need to do this, but I. Th threw him into the horde of archers just to disrupt them um, and like I said I probably didn't need to do it because yeah they, those are the piercing archers but they're not going to do that much damage uh, over here my rangers um, the entirety of the game for the most part now they just move up five inches and shoot uh, my ranger captain does terrible again uh, but he has a couple points of damage as bolt thrower so it's not doing anything uh, my berserker lord does like three points of damage to these guys but that that's fine he was just there to disrupt them and then die so yeah that's what it looks like the end of dwarves too um so twilight kin turn two it charges all around um at the bottom there those abyssal riders charge my iron guard the hydra charges my iron guard um that hydra at the top there charges my earth elementals which is just fine for me because he is not pathfinder but it was charger get charged, so you know. Um, and over here, he gets a double charge off on my uh, vicious earth elementals, which isn't great, but he's got those abyssal riders. Uh, I think those abyssal riders are the one that are. Uh, they might have had pathfinder or something, but then he has his dragon lord thing in there too. Uh, and back the he uh, double charges my uh, my berserker lord. Throws a hydra in there for good measure. Um, so he goes into shooting, actually gets a Bane Chain off this turn, 
his archers. Uh, he gets a Bane Chan off on his Abyssal Riders. Um, he does really actually pretty good in shooting this turn. He actually gets five points of damage on Garrick Heavy Hand. Um, yep, so we go into combat. Um, starting over here, these guys do nine points of damage to my Iron Guard, which wasn't super surprising, but, you know, that's they're not going to be able to handle that. So they route. Um, over here, his Hydra does three points of damage, which is pretty pitiful, so they're fine. Uh, this Hydra does one point of damage, which is actually that surprising. Uh, the combined Dragon Lord and Abyssal Riders uh, kill my uh, Greater Earth Elementals, which is a bummer, but it happens. So that's, she doesn't really do much for reforming. Uh, and over here, yeah, they, they do um, a, a defense. A defense for dwarf isn't gonna last very long against like 20 attacks. So he he's dead. He he dies, but you know he did a thing. So that's cool. And he reforms like that. So you can see he turned his uh. <laughs> He turned his crossbows back around to um, shoot at my shoot him up ranger captain because he doesn't really have much else to do with him. So uh, that's the end of turn two. You can see we're smacking at the table, but for my benefit, we're actually a little bit more on his side than we are on mine. So since it's invade, that matters. Turn three, turn three dwarves uh, do the full counter charging that they can, and and then this is a this is a giant mess. Um, so. Let me try to explain it. Greater Earth Elementals into the Hydra. Um, Berserkers there go into the Dragon Lord, and Greater Earth Elemental goes into the Abyssal Riders. Oh yeah, that that picture helps a little bit. Do, 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 do. And see my Rangers just moving up a little bit and shooting. Um, over here, I throw a dog at the. Um, uh, this is the Armor Standard Bearer with a healing charm, and he gets a point of damage through, but nothing else. Uh, my rangers put a point of damage on the leftmost bolt thrower and waver it. Um, I get a bane chan off of my berserkers, which is good because they're hitting a defense six guy. Uh, my ranger captain finally figures out how to use his weapon and <laughs> and doubles the amount of damage he's done in the last two turns and routes the uh, the thing. So uh, I go back d3 with him so that I can see the other bolt thrower. Uh, over here, lucky for me, I didn't. I only did eight points of damage, which is pretty good for these guys. Um, but I actually end up routing the abyssals, uh, which is pretty huge because then I can do this. Um, these guys do a whopping one point of damage to a hydra, but that's fine. I don't actually probably want to do damage because a hydra gets more attacks based by the n points of damage it has on it. Uh, the greater earth elementals do a bit of damage to the hydra and waver him, which is sweet. Um, the Berserkers actually end up getting five points of damage on the uh, Dragon Lord, which is pretty amazing, but yeah, he's fine. Uh, this one's hard to see, but the Greater Earth Elemental barely gets two points of damage through on the Abyssal Riders, so I mean, at least he did something, but yeah, that was pretty pretty, pretty weak. So, uh, Dwarves turn three, it looks like this. Um, Twilight turn three, it's not going to look too different. We're pretty stuck in at this point. Um, yeah, just counter charges where he can. He puts his Hydra back in. Um, so the one couple things that happen different here is his Abyssals go back into my Greater Earth Elemental. His Hydra there is wavered. His Dragon Rider jumps over the um, Berserkers and hits the Greater Earth Elemental behind him. Which makes sense. Uh, he gets a Bane Chan off on his Abyssal Riders again, which is a, a real bummer for my Greater Earth Elemental. And then he also gets a Bane Chan off on his uh, Dragon Lord, which is a super bummer for my other Greater Earth Elemental. Uh, I think I'm just showing regen here. He regens a bunch of the damage back. Uh, shooting, he gets some damage on Mom Ranger Captain, but he's fine. Uh, combat here, um, yeah, he does a pretty good job to my Greater Earth Elemental, but he's okay. Uh, over here though, oh I forgot to add a route to this, but he does, no he doesn't. So he doesn't, he, he, this, is, this is pretty funny at least from my perspective, he is, his dragon lord gets 10 attacks and he, and he successfully did 9 wounds to my uh, greater earth elemental, which when you're hit, when you're wounding on 2's and re-rolling 1's, I mean it's pretty easy to get all your damage through, but he got all of his hits through basically too, so that was rough. So that's what we look like, that's what we look like.
Alright, turn four. Turn four. Um, turn four, we go in for a double charge on the Hydra. Uh, Garrick, heavy hand, starts kind of running up to uh, maybe go smack around some other guys. Which, in the instance, was probably the bad thing to do. Um, I probably should have kept him back and just kept him inspiring. But anyway. Um, so I double charge his Abyssal Riders with my Berserkers and my Greater Earth Elemental. Um, my Greater Earth Elemental at the bottom goes back into his Dragon Lord. Um, I reposition my Berserkers just in case he goes... I mean, yeah, if he goes back into my Greater Earth Elemental and kills him, at least my Berserkers can try to hit him. And my greater, my Earth Elementals go back into his Hydra. And see over here, so my Rangers are finally making it across the board with their 5-inch move shoot. Uh, we get two Bane Chants off, a Bane Chant on my Berserkers, which is great, and a Bane Chant on my Earth Elementals, which is also great. So on the other side, not surprising, those Dwarves... Um, the flank, you know, they didn't actually do very good, but they did enough. So we were out the Hydra on that side, so we reform like this. Uh, over here, we get eight points of damage on the Abyssals, which is okay, uh, but we don't route them. Um, so we're just showing the Hydra fight. Um, these guys easily pick up the Hydra pretty good. So that's good. I reform like that. Um, oh, yeah, and you can see at the bottom, I think my Greater Earth Elemental failed to do any points of damage to his Dragon Lord. Which is pretty sad, because he should hit on fours and wound on threes. I mean, it's pretty bad luck. But anyway, just another shot of that. So you can see we're getting across the board, so it's definitely, a, as far as Invade goes, I'm doing pretty good. Um, just showing, a, he got like seven out of eight regens or something like crazy like that this turn um, yeah, he does not do a lot of moving he countercharges my greater earth elemental with his abyssal riders and his um, berserker lord goes back into my greater earth elemental yep so we go into shooting and he gets another bane chant off on his greater earth elemental he gets a bane chant off on his uh, uh, greater abyssal riders or abyssal riders whatever they are uh, shooting I think he gets a bolt thrower into these uh, berserkers they're okay. Shooting over here, though, he ends up getting Garrick heavy hand a little more hurt than I like because he's a 14 16, but he's 150 points, and I'd rather not lose 150 points at this this part of the game. Uh, shooting, he wavers my Iron Guard troop here, which is, you know, it is. Um, coming into combat, he does really good against my Greater Earth Elemental, so he's gone. Um,. So he reform like that. He does a really good job again against this Greater Earth Elemental. So he routes him and reforms like that. So that's it. The end of turn four. Sorry for a slightly blur blurry picture there. So turn five. Um, just showing my regen on Garrick Heavy Hand. I actually get a couple back because he's got a six plus regen. Uh, fill my Headstrong, which has been my been on my. Uh, list of to-dos lately has just been failing my headstrongs. So this is after some movement. Um, I move Garrick Heavy Hand back so they can't see him and push those other dwarves forward. Um, you know, and maybe in retrospect, well, anyway. At least all the dwarves are, are, uh, are uh, inspired. Over here, my uh, Berserkers I, I do a double charge against the Abyssals with my Berserkers and my Greater Earth Elemental. And then my Berserkers also charge the Dragon down at the bottom. And my um, Rangers charges Hydra uh, over there on the left. Because he had moved that Hydra over to uh, you know, eventually deal with him, I guess. So, yeah, there's that. So I throw a dog at the... Um, at the bolt thrower, we're getting really excited to this will be a really good use of a dog and he and he fails. The dog was the dog was not hungry. Um paint chant my berserkers. Uh go into combat and I do one point of damage to this Hydra, so he's fine. Uh these berserkers do about three points of damage to the uh, dragon, which is you know, he's getting there. Eight damage isn't isn't bad, and then um these guys go and do actually pretty good. Uh, I think I failed the Bane Chant on the um, Greater, or on the Earth Elementals there, but 
didn't need it they uh, they popped those guys pretty good which is huge for me so I reform like this yep 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 in a dwarf turn five so we had a twilight six um, he sends his hydra back in otherwise everything here pretty much sits still and then he takes his dragon and flank charges my um, iron guard regiment which I didn't see coming which was a good move for the most part yeah I think it was a good move so just showing that uh, he gets Bane Chan off on his archers and you can see what happens <laughs> because of that so he picks up one of my um, iron guard regiment with all of his shooting uh, Hydra does a couple damage to my rangers, but they're fine. Um, and then his Dragon Lord picks up my other Iron Guard regiment, which is which is kind of rough, because that's like 340 points he picked up that turn, which is pretty good for him. Um, and then he reforms like this, um, which you know, I get what he was doing. He was um, he was wanting to see the the. I mean, he knew he was giving a flank to my Iron Guard there. But he was wanting to see the back of my elementals. It's kind of like a, a last ditch effort to pick up enough points so that we would at least tie. So, turn six. Um, turn six, my dwarves flank his, uh, his uh, dragon. Uh, my berserkers just kind of muck around in the middle there. My earth elementals go into his uh, archers. My rangers go back into their thing, and that's about it. Um, you can see in the middle, in those trees, or where the trees used to be anyway, uh, both of my berserkers walked over um, to give me two chances <laughs> at being chanting um, uh, the, these iron guard in the flank. So, actually, I got one through, um, so I got the iron first one through, and then I actually, so I had the second one to throw wherever I wanted, so I threw it on these guys over here, on the earth elementals. So, um, lucky for me, you can see I did, I did four points of damage. Because um, he did some healing, so he healed himself down to six. Iron Guard, you know, 20 attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on fives. Four points of damage, I'm like, oh, that's fine. Oh, oh, and also Garrick. Heavy Hand is in there. But Garrick Heavy Hand sucked a lot at this combat. I think he did like one point of damage. But luckily the Iron Guard were there to pick it up. And, and while he's still like, I think he's like a 17, 19, I, I rolled really good and picked the dragon up. So, which is really big for me. Um keeps everybody safe and just takes a huge amount of his points off the board so um why am I sh this is out of order sorry sorry ignore that one and oh uh, combat my rangers I think maybe do a point of damage here here's the one that we're supposed to be okay so my uh, earth elementals do a lot of damage to these guys but of course they're fine because they're elves uh, yeah <clears throat> so the uh, end of dwarf six, which I think is pretty reasonable picture. Um, yeah, not to be too much spoilers, but remember how this looks. So, um, yep, yep. So shooting um, turn six, he shoots. Uh, trying to pick up these uh, iron guard, he doesn't get them. He shoots, he picks up the only scoring berserkers, the other berserkers aren't scoring, so he picks them up. Uh, and his Hydra does pretty good, but he doesn't pick up these guys, and they're scoring. And, and not surprisingly, his uh, <laughs> his elves didn't beat up my elementals. So, uh, we go to see if there's a turn 6 and there is, or turn 7, and there is not. So, uh, sorry, I forgot to take uh, like an overall picture of the board, but anyway. So for scoring, Dwarfs had 835 points. And the Twilight can add 195 points. So it was a dwarf victory. Um, we looked at it too to see about like attrition. And the Twilight can actually had like 200 more points on the board. So in a tournament with attrition that would have shifted it. But it was still a dwarf victory. So, you know, yay. Um, some thoughts. Yeah, the first thing I should have probably... I should have probably used the Berserker Lord a little different. I didn't need to interrupt those archers for any real practical reason. I should have shoved him behind an elemental or elementals, and, and saved him for uh, saved him for beating up the dragon lord or something. Um, but it was a it was a really fun game. It was the first time I've, I mean I, I've played fighty dwarves a lot, but this was like fightier, more elite dwarves. Um, 
And I think the Berserkers and the troops, like I was using them as a as kind of like a second line filler, work really well. Um, I, I really actually kind of like that that they can pick up where the where where the other people fall off. Um, and yeah, and, and actually I like the Iron Guard troops too. I, I 110 points is a lot for a troop, but it's a defense six, 11, 13, and it's a it's a tough tough little unit to crack. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I I had a lot of fun with this list, um, and like I said, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some v a variety of lists for these guys to get practice with uh, for the 2,500 point tournament they're going to, so uh, you might see a couple more games kind of like this where I just make something up on the fly and play. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.